I want to take this opportunity to thank all those of you who have supported my channel and get me up to 10,000 subscribers. This is just a sign to show that we definitely will achieve the 100,000 subscribers. Then we'll definitely move on to the 1 million subscribers and we go on and on. So I just want to encourage you to continue to support this work, send energy towards the expansion and growth of this channel and let us bring our energy together to help uplift and expand each other as we grow together because together we will win. Unity is strength. Greetings who are God's people? That's the question I'm asking to each and every one. Because the reason why I'm making this video, I would have seen someone on the internet with a topic that says why most of God's people are broke. And it makes me ask myself if there's definitely a peculiar set of people on the face of this planet because as far as I know since I've been having this human experience is that each and every one of us uses thoughts to communicate and our our words and our actions are determined by our thoughts and when I read the Bible it also says that God is not mocked. Whatsoever you sow, that also shall you reap. Which dovetails with the scripture that says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if it is your thoughts that is determining your personality, then I dare a peculiar set of people on the earth who have a different mind than everyone else because as far as I'm concerned there's only one mind and there are different arrangement of that one mind and even the Bible tells you that you can only transform yourself by renewing your mind and to renew your mind is to restructure or reprogram your mind. To change your thinking, the way you think. And everything in this world just keep changing. Which means that we're supposed to change as we grow and mature because we're supposed to be learning all the time. Therefore, I want to say if People are still referring to others who think like them, act like them, and who goes to church like them as the people of God, then they would have to do justice to that comment. Because if they believe that God is the creator, then they must be able to point out the creative power that is used on this planet that we all can use to achieve our every desire. And common sense will teach you that money was for us a thought. It was for us an idea. It was for us imagine. And each and every one of us on this planet, we use money as the medium of exchange. Also, when we look at our science and technology, we realize that it was for us a thought. It was for us an idea. It was for us imagine. And those who had the idea they woke up on that idea even though they didn't see it. They had to believe in the unseen and remain faithful to the unseen to have the manifestation for the upliftment and the advancement of all of humanity. Therefore, if there were such a people as the people of God and the people who are more godly, it would definitely have to go to the inventors or to the, the great innovators and the people who are more creative and who have made this world a better place for each and everyone. 
But I want to say to you that all of us were chosen out of millions of sperm. All of us need water to be our savior when we are thirsty. And when we are hungry, food is actually our savior. And when we are out of a work, a job is actually our savior. Therefore, if there's a peculiar set of people on the face of this earth who are actually the people of God, then you have to do justice, as I said before, to the comment or to the statement. Then they're supposed to be the employee as and not the employee. They should be above and not beneath. They should be the lenders and not the borrowers. They're supposed to be the ones who own the banks and not the ones who are actually borrowing from the banks. They should be the ones who've been providing a solution for the pandemic instead of taking an inoculation because they have mortgages and they have loans to pay. So it is very contradicting for people to refer to themselves and others as the people of God. Such thinking and such mindset is a mindset of confusion and division. But I'm here to say that we are one. That there's only one universal consciousness. And that consciousness is the only reality. In other words, your awareness of being is the only reality there is. Let me make it a little bit more simpler for you. I'm saying to you that life is God. And the life that is in you is God. It is the life that is in you that put you to sleep last night and wake you up this morning. So there is only one power. And all of us have been operated by that one power. But you see, many people have never read the scripture that says that I am God and there is no other. He say, I kill and I make a life. I wound and I heal. And there is no other. And the reason why they're not familiar with such a scripture is because they do not know that God in man is actually man's imagination. And you can use your imagination to hurt. And you can use your imagination to heal. Okay? And so I'm just quoting from Deuteronomy 30 to 39. But I'm going to quote from Isaiah chapter 45 verses 5 to 7. You can read it for yourself. It says the same thing also. That I am God and there is no other. There's only life. <laughs> There's only God in the world, having all different experiences. Okay, God asleep or God awake. God being creative or God being destructive. So it says in Isaiah chapter 45, verses 5 to 7, it says that I'm, I am God and there is no other. He said, I created the darkness and I create the light. I create good and I create evil. My brother, my sister, when you understand the law of mentalism, you would realize that everything was false and thought, everything was false and idea, everything was false. Imagine. And so those who read the Bible, they fail to realize that the Bible had to first be imagined, it had to first be a thought, it had to first be an idea. So when you speak about men who are inspired, inspiration comes by the communication of thoughts and thoughts are thought frequencies. They are frequencies. That's what I'm saying. And everything operates on energy, vibration, and frequency. That is why we have science and technology whereby you can communicate to me through your comment. Okay? And the internet was not created by a religious person. Neither the computer, neither money, neither the airplane, the jet, the automobile, and all of these things. Okay? And there are those who try to argue with me. <laughs> To say that they come from religious people. No, there are people who grew up in a religious family who, like the Wright brothers, okay, who invented the airplane and they were preached upon. They were told that they were they're trying to be, be God and they're trying to play God because they want to fly. Okay, so my brother, my sisters, I just want to make it straight that if you could just accept everyone on their own level. And realize that there's no one to change but yourself. You'll be the happiest person on this planet. And it takes me a while to really come to that conclusion. That I am not here on this planet to try to change the planet. I try to change the system. I try to change anyone from what they choose to believe. And what they choose to live by. Because you see, we all have been given a choice.
And that's how powerful this human experience is. We have a choice. You have a coin, and that one coin, it has a head and it has a tail. That is to show us the law of polarity. You have night, and the night is what reflects the day. And the day is also what reflects the night. You cannot know night without day, and you cannot know day without night. You cannot know a good person if there's a bad person. So there's always the law of opposites. Okay, and so too with your mind. You, you have the left brain thinkers and you have the right brain thinkers. Okay, you have the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief. This is only one mind, but it's just different arrangement of that same mind. So, my brother and my sisters, there's no such a thing as God's people or God's chosen people. You see, many people misunderstand that the Bible is a book of mind science. And that is why they would have to use their own, their, their very minds to disagree with me when I say that the Bible is mental. Could you imagine that? I, I want you to really think about that. Because it's been happening for a lot. There's people who hate on me. There are people who tell me all kind of things, call me all kind of names for saying that the Bible is a book of psychology. It's a book of mind science. And it, it has almost everything. Well, let me say it has everything. It has science, it has maths, it has phallic, it has astrology, astronomy. I can go on and on and on. The list is too long, okay? But it's basically a manual for your life to teach you how to control your mind. So the book can be used for you to control your mind and live on your own terms. Or the book could be used to control you on the tongues of others and trap you in division and guilt, shame, condemnation. And that would be your conversation towards others. But my conversation is a conversation of oneness. It's a conversation of unity. It's a conversation that's saying that there's only one universal consciousness. There's only one life. And there's nothing that can be given to you that is that is greater than eternal life because you are an eternal being. So even those who try to separate themselves from God, the most they can tell you that God can give to them is eternal life. And the reason for that, because there's nothing higher than life. <laughs> so if you do not know the life in you, is God. It means you do not know yourself. And that's why you don't have to look for God outside of yourself. And I'm not here to change your perspective. I'm not here to tell you to believe what I am saying. I'm here to say to you, live how you feel is best for you and what it is making you happy and helping you to live your life sumptuously and your life can reflect nature. Then you should definitely live that way because when I look on the outside and look at nature all around me, nature shows me abundance and prosperity. Nature teaches me that I'm supposed to live sumptuously because nature brings forth in abundance and it brings forth sumptuously also. Okay, so my brother, my sisters, I can go on and on and on, but the message I really want to get across to you is that you have to accept yourself and accept others. And once you accept others, you must accept them unconditionally. Accept them on their own terms. Understand that we are all different vibration, different states of mind. But yet, there's only one mind. And let me end here by saying to you that there is only God in this world. Whether you believe it or you don't, it's up to you. And the way how I show forth that there's only God in the world is by me using my creative power to achieve my every desire and taking things from the invisible world and make it manifest in this world, showing I am the Lord and Master of my destiny and I can create my life whichever way I want it to be. That is the authority that has been given to me, having this human experience when I born in this world in a state of amnesia that limits me to what we refer to as death. So though I am God in flesh, I'm gonna die like a
man. That's the sacrifice that we had to pay to have this human experience. Yet, we are eternal. For we are energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can be transmuted. And everything that you would use to respond to me, it is because of energy transmutation. So, let me give praises where praises is due for the people who use their ability to give us science and technology. All respect is due to you because you prove that spirituality and science comes from the one and same and only power that there is that we can use to achieve our every desire. That's the God power and it is within you. The kingdom of God is within you because God and man are one. For God and man is man's imagination. And you have to use your imagination to disagree with me. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense, if it really resonates with you, and you have a subscriber, I really definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, or you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly to support this work, I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and that the link is always down below. Also, you can choose to support this work continually by being a part of my Patreon community as we work together for the upliftment and the advancement of all of humanity, pointing each and every one to look inward to discover that their real identity is their divinity and that real salvation is actually self-realization. Man, know thyself. Also, if you like to check out my Inner Sun Science and Technology course, it's for people who are donating at least 20 or more dollars. It's all about you tapping into your inner self, which is actually an inner light, an inner sun, as in the S-U-N. So that you will be able to understand why Psalms 84, 11 tells you that the Lord thy God is a sun, a S-U-N, and a shield, and no good thing which he withhold from you. And common sense will teach you that the sun, as in the S-U-N, is actually the giver of our life. For there can be no life on this planet without the sun. For the sun is what pours all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. And the sun does the same for all of nature. And you're told in Malachi chapter 4 to that the sun, yes, the S-U-N, the light of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wing. So true healing and righteousness can only be found within you. That is why I can point you to look no other place but to look within yourself so that when you discover this light, your creativity will so shine that the world will see that your creativity is referred to as your light because definitely your life would have meaning and purpose to the rest of humanity. So if you feel strong enough to listen to those videos, I definitely encourage you to do so. At this time, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.